Hi, this is Rich Goldstein from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick way on how you can auto-archive items after a certain date. So for example, if you have a sheet with items which are 60 days old and you don't want anything that's older than 60 days old in that sheet, then you can get it to archive to a separate sheet. So it's a great way to keep on top of your sheets, particularly if you've got ones which have got a lot of data going in and you can set up different rules for when certain things happen on that side. So let's just have a quick look and understand this. So in this data, you'll see that the last items in here are on the 15th of August, which happens to be, then none of them are older than 60 days. If, however, I now change this to be the date above, minus one, you'll see that that has ticked and that's been triggered on that side. And so those have now changed. What I have on this sheet is a workflow, an automation, I'll go there in a moment, where it, if these are changed, it sets a trigger and moves it to a separate sheet. So if I just refresh the sheet um, on that side and items that are older than 60 days, and we can see that this is now just triggered um, on this side. So what's happened is, and I just refresh the sheet, those boxes were ticked and the items have just disappeared because they're older than 60 days on that basis. Now, what happens is if you do not go into the sheet, these dates will not update automatically because it needs something to happen on the sheet to trigger a change. And on that basis, it goes, oh, it's older than the days. So in order to get the sheet to update itself automatically, you need to have a helper column, which is what I call a daily update column. So if you look in terms of what I've got here, I've got workflows and I've got a daily timestamp. So what I've got in here is I've set the trigger up and it's on a, when a date is reached. And the way I've set it up is a custom date field. So rather than run once, it's a custom one. And I've set the custom one so it runs every day, starting from the second when I first set it up. And it runs every day and I've set it to run at three o'clock in the morning. What it means then is no one's in the sheet at three o'clock in the morning. The timestamp goes off. And what it does is it records the today's date in the daily update column. So when that happens, the date is refreshed and then the whole sheet refreshes and it says, oh, something's changed. Let's have a look at this column. That data has changed. Because it has changed, it then runs the second automation. Let's go back to that one. So the second automation is when the rows are changed and older than six days changes to checked, then it moves the rows to an archive sheet. So if we just go back onto the sheets and just have a look here. So that's kind of what's happening here in terms of the sheet where this goes to. So if I just go back and give you a sense of, I've got the archive sheet and in here, you can see all the items that are older than 60 days, they go into this sheet and then just, they keep moving into the sheet and you can see they just fall in here at the bottom because I did a little batch just now. You can see why the dates are slightly mixed up but these are the items which have just been moved across. So this is a great way how you can have a sheet where it moves it out of your main daily sheet that you're using. And it means anything that's older than this goes. And then you can set up separate alerts, which helps you maintain that sheet on things like that. So I can cover that in a separate video. But again, just to recap, if I go back to the original sheet here, in terms of the data sheet, all you need to do to get this to auto uh, run and to do the auto archiving is have a Help a column which does a daily update with a timestamp. And then in this case, I just have a simple formula and let's just have a look. So you can see what is the formula in here. And all it's saying is if the date is greater than 60 days, then ticket. Sorry, if the difference between um, today's date and today is greater than 60 days, then ticket. If it's not, then don't. And if that is then ticked, it then auto archives. So a great process just to keep on top. And again, this is about the automations, making you do less of the stuff which you don't need to do. As so much as it does the automations and then you can focus on doing fabulous work elsewhere. So hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. Again, Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions, giving some smart sheet tips on how you can maximize your time and operate more efficiently. Any questions, give me a shout. Bye for now.